hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be talking about some other alternatives what are some other visa options if your h1b was denied or you did not win the h1b lottery or you are not eligible or qualified for an h1b visa stay tuned to the end of this video where i will be sharing with you some other visa options that you may be able to consider and even obtain if you are watching this channel for the first time i am dr Britton, and i share a lot of information on this platform Go ahead and join the community so that you can learn more about teaching in the United States as well as the different types of visas. And as I'm sharing with you today, other routes that you can take if your visa is not approved. So it is important for you to know that there are other options that you can take if your H-1B was not granted. However, these routes are going to be dependent on your qualification, your circumstances, and in some cases, your employment. Let's get straight into these other visas that you may take into consideration. The first visa we're going to look at today is the L visa, which is the intra-company transfer visas. These visas are usually offered to employers who are working with multinational companies who may have a location in the United States. So if you are working with a company that has locations outside the United States, you may be able to transfer your place of work to the United States. Go ahead and check out if your company is a multinational one and if they have locations in the United States. It is important to note also that the L visa comes in two categories, L1A and L1B. The L1A is for managers and executives, while the L1B are for employees with specialized knowledge. So the L1 visa, check that out for intra-company transfers. Do you have extraordinary ability or achievements? Well, if you do, then you may consider the O visa. The O visa are for individuals with extraordinary abilities and achievements in arts, science, math, technology, engineer, and you name it. And how can I forget athletic? Again, the O visa has two categories, O1A and O1B. O1B is for art and, and education, science, business, and athletics will fall under O1A. So go ahead and show those extraordinary abilities and get rewarded for it with your O visa. The next visa category is for NAFTA professionals. If you are a professional from Canada or Mexico and your occupation fall under NAFTA, then you may be eligible for this visa. The TN visa covers a range of professional areas, including science, computer analyst, engineering, and technology. If you are from Australia, then this visa type is for you. Professionals in specialty occupations from Australia are eligible to apply for the E3 visa. The E3 visa is similar to the H-1B visa. However, please note that if you are an Australian citizen and you hold a h3 visa then your spouse may be eligible to work in the united states if he or she has a work permit that's kind of different from the h1b as you cannot work as a h4 dependent unless your spouse that's the h1b holder has gotten to some stage of applying for permanent residency if you are from singapore or chile then this visa category is for you. It's the free trade agreement for professionals from Singapore and Chile, and the category is H-1B-1. The H-1B-1 visa. So as part of the free trade agreement, professionals from Singapore and Chile can apply for this type of visa to work and live in the United States. Again, the H-1B-1 visa is similar to the H-1B visa. Another category of visa you can consider is the J-1 visa. The J-1 visa is a cultural exchange visa which allows you to live and work in the United States. There are many categories that fall under the J-1 visa to include teachers, professors, 
au pairs, summer work, travel workers, interns, you name them, the J-1 visa can cover them. So if you have not learned or not heard about the J-1 visa before, you can check some more on this channel because this channel is big on explaining about the J-1 cultural exchange visa. The next category of visa is for treaty investors, the E-2 visa. The E-2 visa allows investors to develop and direct operations of the enterprises that they have invested in. So if you are an investor, then you may consider the E-2 visa. If you are a trainee or a special education exchange visitor, then you may consider the H-3 visa. The H-3 visa is for individuals who are interested in training in the United States in areas that are not available in their home country. So, for example, you would like to do scuba diving or, you know, some other training, some other things you're trying to learn, but it's not available in your country, then you may be able to apply for the H-3 visa to come and obtain training in the United States. So the H-3 visa is for trainee and special education exchange visitors. Please note that this visa is commonly given for various fields of training. Another option to consider if you have tried all others and they fail is to be a student in the United States where you can apply for a student visa, which would be the F1 or M visa. Additionally, once you complete your studies in the United States, depending on the area of study, you may be eligible to work for 12 months after you completed your studies through the optional practical training. The optical practical training is mainly offered to students of STEM, math, engineer, technology, or sciences. So I would advise you to be smart in choosing the area that you're going to be studying in when you decide to study in the United States. And the final visa type we're going to look at today is the visitor visa, the B-1 visa. B-1 visa allow you to engage in temporary business activities in the United States to include attending business meetings, conferences, or completing temporary assignments in the United States. If the B-1 visa can work to obtain the goal you're trying to achieve, then you may check it out to see if it's suitable for you. So I listed 10 other visas that you could take into consideration if your H-1B did not work. It is important for you to check out and carefully scrutinize the requirements and limitations for all the visas that were mentioned. Additionally, whichever visa that you're deciding to go with, you want to make sure you stay current and up to date with the information on this visa type as the visa categories keep changing, the requirements keep changing, and you want to make sure whatever is changing, you're still eligible for that visa. I would also recommend that you seek professional help to ensure that the visa type you select is suitable for you and whatever it is you are aiming to obtain in the United States. So in summary, the other options are the L1 visa, the O visa, the TN visa, the E3 visa, H1B1 visa, the J1 visa, the E2 visa, H3 visa, the F1 visa, and the B1 visa. If you got all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with somebody who may need the information. And I hope to see you again on this platform. Thanks for watching. Bye.